Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will see that how we can use or apply a for loop. So let's check out the points first of all. So these are the four simple points, and actually I forgot to just change it. I have to write here for in Vue.js. All right. So we first of all we have to define the data function. Data function is basically a function. Here we will define all properties of our component. And this is the same thing I told you in the previous video, but I just remind you. All right. After that, we have to define a uh, array of the objects, and then we will make a table HTML table, and we will use the for v4 directive to make the loop. As I told you, directives are used for uh, uh, modify the template or the HTML element, and this modification can be based on a style, can be based on a condition, can be based on uh, uh, looping and repetitions. All right. So these uh, things are, are do done by the directives in the futures. So now let's start with the code. So first of all, I am just going to define a data function as I told you. And in here, I will return an object. So just write here, return an object. In this object, I am just going to make an array. And in this array, let's define the uh, some objects. Right. So name. And yeah, we actually, I just uh, forgot to put the name of this. So we can put the name of uh, this array is user. So let's uh, take the ID. Uh, ID can be like one. Then um, uh, we can take the name. And name can be uh, Peter. Oh, that's my bad. We have to just write here like this. And uh, let's make one more email address uh, can be like peter at the rate test.com. All right. And uh, now let's make some more. Uh, let's define the Sam, Tony, Bruce. And let's just make the email address also. All right. So now we have four characters. Perfect. So after doing this, what do we have to go? We have to make a table, and this is basically a HTML table. And here, let's define a tr. And in the tr, let's define the td one, and uh, let's define some more tds two and three. And here, I uh, let's take it in the next line, like this. Yep, and uh, let's define here id, then. Uh, uh, name and uh, then email address like this so what we are getting in the HTML you will see that we have a simple table but you can see that this is a table header and now I am just going to make a copy of it and let's apply a for directive here so just right here v4 and in the v4 we will take a user in users and we must have to define the key and uh, key can be mm -hmm. okay, what we can make a key so yep, we have to just finish it like here and like key can be user.id right user.id is the best way to make, make the key and now if you are looking out here then you will see uh, that this tr will be repeat the four time because of the for loop and why four time because we have a four items here so here i am just going to change the name and let's uh, get them in the next line so that you can understand it easily just make here user.id inside the double curly braces All right then uh, we can use here user.name then we can just uh, define here <laughs> user dot email id and here you can see that we got the complete table but uh, but but we have to make the different ids here let's make three and four and now we have a list here so in this video i am not going to focus on the style that's why this is not looking pretty cool because this is the logical feature but still if you just want to define a border then uh, you can define two pixel right so this is not i know this is not a very good but uh, here it will tell you that how these row are 
uh, distinguish from each other like so about the style in the uh, uh, after the two or three videos we will just make a video of the style that how we can just get the style more efficiently in the view.js so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video